Hi, I'm Fernando, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy your self-hosted version of Opera Replay into the Amazon's Cloud of Rain, AWS. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the AWS console and into the EC2 section. In there, we're going to create a brand new instance, name it whatever you like. I'm naming it my easy my open replay instance and then as the uh, image we're going to pick the Ubuntu 2004 LTS version the one with the SSD hard drive and then for the type we're going to go with a T3 large type of instance because it has the minimum uh, requirements that we need to be two CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM then we're going to create a brand new key pair, name it whatever you like, and just leave the default options. That will download the file into your download folders. Then uh, just make sure you allow the HTTP and HTTPS traffic incoming from internet. And then for storage, we're going to need at least 50 gigabytes. So make sure that you select and configure that option. Then simply click on create. And once it's finished creating, you can see it listed on, on the list of instances. Uh, once it's running, go to the details and get the public IP of the instance, which you're going to use to SSH into the machine. First, you're going to want to set up the right permissions on the PEM file that we downloaded. Uh, simply use a CH mode 400 if you're using a Linux based operating system and then use the SSH command like I'm doing it right here. You can use the Ubuntu user and uh, using at the IP that we got from the instance. That will log you into the instance with the Ubuntu user and that's all you need. Now you can start installing Open Replay. First, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to clone the repo and then move into the Helm Charts folder which is inside the script folder and run the init.sh script with the domain name environment variable set to wherever your domain is. Here you have to set the domain that you're going to use to reach Open Replay. The installation will take a few minutes, but once it's done, you're going to want to configure the certificate. If you don't have one already, if you're not bringing one from the outside, from a valid certificate authority, then you can create one for testing here using the cert manager dot sh script it's going to ask you for the domain name which should be the one you entered before and a valid email address while the certificate get, gets built we have to solve routing traffic into your instance you have two options here you can either go with a load balance configure directly in AWS we will you could set the SSL certificate inside it and then point the load balancer to your instance IP or you can directly set the certificate inside your instance and then point the DNS A record to the instance. Because the second option is easier and faster, I'm going to show you that right now. But you can go to our documentation and review how to use the load balancer option yourself. So to configure option number two, we're going to go to route 53, which is the DNS manager for AWS console. And we're going to create a hosted zone, a public hosted zone specifically inside it, pointing to the main domain, which in our case is testdomain.com. And once the hosted zone is created, we're going to create an A record inside it, which is going to add the open replace subdomain to our domain. And that subdomain is going to point to our instance public IP, which we should have been able to get from the details on the EC2 section. With this and with the creation of the search certificate ready, we'll go into the next step, which is going to be configuring the HTTP to HTTPS redirect. For that, we're going to edit the vars.yaml file, which is already inside the same folder. And we're going to look for the SSL redirect and force SSL redirect keys. We're going to set them to true, save and exit. And then we're going to reinstall 
open and replace nginx with the cli tool like shown on the screen once this process is done open and replace ready to be accessed so we're going to go into our domain name slash sign up and we will be able to create our admin user And that's it. That's all you need to deploy your self-hosted version of OpenRPLAY into AWS. Remember, you first have to set up the infra and then you have to install OpenRPLAY. For setting up the infra, you're going to have to launch an EC2 instance. Then you're going to have to configure the SSL certificate into it. And finally, go to Route 53 and configure the DNS A record to point to that instance. Then for installing OpenRPLAY, you're going to have to clone the repo, run the installation command, generate the certificate. If you don't have it already for testing purposes, then update the configuration file to add, to enable the HTTP to HTTPS redirection, which is recommended. And finally, reinstall Open Replace engine. And that's it. Your AWS powered Open Replay should be up and running. If you have questions or doubts about this process, feel free to reach out to us on our Slack channel with the link in the description and our devs will be more than happy to help you. Until then, see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.